the plan was to launch the boat into the river, do a test run up and down with my dad, then my wife and I were gonna drive about 60 miles in the boat to the slip, put it in the slip, nothing can go wrong, because if it does, we have to wait for like another weekend. How, how did it go down again? Okay. This thing is not super responsive. Don't fall it. Not well yet. That the river was really fast. Well, it's good practice. I'm Scott Peasley, and this is Wild Generation. You shouldn't. You don't blow out when I'm driving it. It flew off. Part of my cushion. It'll run over. It'll work for wear. Another part of my cushion. I thought maybe if I looked down this cliff here, no, not cliff, just rock slide, whatever it is, that I would find the other cushion between some rocks. I haven't found There's it. There's a west breeze right now, so I think it blew it further east of us. So they, they came unzipped? They didn't rip? They, they came on, well, there's a little bit of rip in the zip. I still haven't found that cushion. Before we go out, we should probably check that reserve oil level on the mm -hmm. steering. This thing was thirsty. Well, now it's coming out. So this is hydraulic steering fluid on the ground. Not great. All right. Ready? Your leg on should loose. On? The trailer. Like the wheel. The wheel. We need to tighten them. You got a T-wrench? I don't think that I do. I have wrenches, like ratchet wrenches. As long as they fit on there, that'll work for now. I don't know about both sides, but those are both loose. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this gap. We're able to fix the trailer up a little bit, and we launched the boat. All right, you ready? The license plate's in the water. What do you mean it's in the water? It, it fell off. It's in the water. Somebody's got to get it. <sighs> Trying to. It's the water. Oh, it's freezing. But. We got our license plate back. Yay. I think so. We're going to find out in a minute. What's that? No, nah, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's ours. We'll know in a minute. You ready for me to pull it out? Ours is still attached. Hey, ours is still attached. Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> Thank you. I retrieved somebody else's license plate for them. I feel good about that. What is this? The brush? N no, not yet. Holy <laughs> yeah, The boat's full of gasoline. Oh, like it, it's coming through a crack, I think. Right. We're gonna have to pull this. It's a bomb right now. Yeah, there's something wrong. Like seriously wrong. I don't even know if the trailer's gonna work for us to be able to pull it. So there's gas in the bottom of the boat. Really? Wait, About an inch. In of it. the in the uh, in the bilge? Yeah. Okay. Oops. I don't, know how that I don't know either. Well, there's probably a vent. There's a vent into the bilge for the gas. Oh, we gotta look at it. We throw a match in it. I, you're positive it's gas, right? Dad, it's gas. You can smell my fingers if you want, because I touched it. What's up, my love? Not a day. No, it's a day. We're learning. Every day we learn is a day. That's all gas. Okay. What are we gonna do about that? We gotta get it out before we go out and ride. So right. We're not gonna go out and ride today. Obviously. You gotta do a little research online about. Uh, you know, on Facebook, say I got gas in the bilge filling up the tank. What, what is that going on? I'm a little embarrassed to tell anyone about this experience. I'd like to shout out a thank you to the experts on the Facebook Hydrosport group. Tank or line bad, or you filled a rod holder. I did not fill a rod holder. Nobody died. Oh, you probably should, why don't you, why don't you go back down here and raise the motor. That's a really good point. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'll just leave it. It's not going to hurt anything. Let's not turn any electrical down. Where are you going? Where, where do you want me to go? Right here. To my truck. I started to head that way. Then you said, where are you going? You we're not headed this way. My opinion, I was. I'm allowed to have an opinion that's different than yours. And vice versa. That's why we can't have nice things. 
don't know what you want. Did you guys figure out what's going on? Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Wild Generation, but this is not just a boating channel. This is a hiking channel, hunting channel, fishing channel, anything outdoors. We're gonna go camping, do all kinds of fun things. So if you enjoy this kind of content, you wanna watch us make some mistakes, learn along the way, and have fun in the process, please consider liking and subscribing. Go outside and generate the wild within.